Escaping Denver, Batch 3, Episode 5, The Cook. Go on. Do it again. Come on. I swear, he was doing this crazy clicking thing just a second ago. Lanky, do it again. Well, better than nothing. At least you know I wasn't talking to myself. Just talking to a bird. Let's dig in. When we left off, Sarah had blended into a corporate onboarding and was hiding in plain sight. She's certainly doing a better job of it than Noah, who seems compelled to stand out. He was doing such a good job before he went and exposed parts of his plan to a stranger in the washroom. Let's be honest. Even if Noah hadn't gone and stepped in it, his plan wasn't exactly safe. Miles of hallways and corridors heading down instead of up. His best case scenario is a safe journey deeper into this hellscape. It's bonkers. He wants to head back down to the runes and get answers, but I don't understand why he didn't just ask the archivist for help getting out. He was right there. But he didn't. And here we are. So let's join Noah. I totally swiped one of his access cards. Just plucked it from his pocket. This means I can leave this bracelet the archivist gave me behind and stop being tracked. I can go old school and make it back to the cavern. Hell, it may even get me out of here. <coughs> Shit. Uh, messaging a friend about, about a game that we play. I mean, I know what it sounded like, but it's just... Wait! Let me explain! Just listen! Wait! Just... Stop! Just listen! Hey! Hey! You! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, oh thank God. He's just knocked out. I thought I killed him, but no, just, uh, just knocked out. I need to get away from here. Shit, I need to move now, but, uh, I can't leave him here. The stall. Okay, prone position, like a drunk. And done. Right, move. Blending in. The alarm was raised about 10 minutes after I left the washroom, and now I'm on the move. No idea where I am. I just keep turning and going through doors, which I know isn't smart, but if I don't know where I'm going, how the hell are they going to know where I'm going, right? It's not like I killed him. I just tripped him, and he bumped his head. It wasn't even on purpose, so I'm not going to carry that guilt. Ah, ah the burn. You know how you discover you have little cuts on your fingers when you use a lemon? Like you didn't know, and all of a sudden, surprise burn. That's where I'm at. I couldn't tell you what happened in the struggle, but I know now my face must have been hit pretty hard because it's on fire. Same with the new hand. Feels raw from grabbing at his clothes. I wish it had grown back with calluses. Hello. Does it lock? It does, but just for good measure. There. That'll take him a hot minute to get through. What have you locked yourself into, Noah? Looks like cleaning supplies, but... No, it's chemicals. Jugs and jugs of liquid chemical. Accounts for the smell. I'm thinking this wasn't the best. Anything? Nothing. He won't have made it this far. There's a half a dozen restricted doors between here and the washroom where we found the body. You told me to be thorough. I also said to be smart and fast. I'm recalling the puncher. Until then, keep your team searching. <sighs> okay. Right. Fuck. 
update. It's been a few hours. Felt like a few days. I further barricaded the door. Dragged a couple of shelves over and loaded them with the jugs. It would take a bulldozer to open this door now. That being said, I've locked myself into this chemical hot box and need to come up with another plan. A few things are in my favor. One, they don't think I'd have made it this far, which means they don't or didn't know about the access card. Point Noah. Two, they're recalling the puncher, which is scary, but the puncher will be chasing my scent, which I doubt he'd be able to pick up while I'm in this toxic closet. Another point, Noah. Now, if I can make it a hat trick, I might just make it out of this room. A room like this would have great ventilation, but I've only seen a few fist-sized vents, which I'll never fit through. Thing is, I don't have life experience. I've been winging it down here, but... I don't have a treasure trove of information to pull from. I didn't camp or Boy Scout or Portage. Uh, my dad never took me fishing, and don't ask me to tie a knot. I can't even keep my shoes tied. Everything I know, I learned from movies and the internet. That's why climbing through the vents felt like a rational decision. Even when the vent was tight or dirty or spider-filled, I thought, worked for Die Hard. It'll work for me. And it has. But I'm out of ideas. I'm in a concrete box where I imagine I'll be until they find me. I could always drink one of these and save myself the trouble, but I imagine my healing would just keep me alive until I peed it out. I'm screwed. I should have watched more action movies or read a book on this kind of thing. But how was I to know? I could have been preparing for the worst my whole life and still been blindsided by this. I probably shouldn't step in it. At least this insurer's puncher can't smell. The Goonies! This is how they got into the caves to begin with. The water drug breaks and it leads them to the drain and secret entrance to... There. Aha! There's a grate. Makes sense. That drip has been going on for hours, and I don't see any puddles, so of course the liquid has to go somewhere. Huh. It's tight, but I think I can fit. Question is, do I risk climbing down into a chemical-filled pipe? defense, this never felt like a good idea, but what else was I going to do? You heard that thing in the hallway. To you, it's the sound of hydraulics, but for me, it's the thought of coin-sized holes being punched into me by an appropriately named robot, and then worse, likely healing and going again and again until they break me in a way that doesn't fix. Thankfully, the pipe was more than just overflow from the chemical room. I crawled down that pipe and made it to this more reasonably sized waterway. Still, only about as much space as a sideways telephone booth, which isn't even a thing anymore, but compared to the first pipe, it's acreage. I've been crawling for a while now. Seems to only be water making its way through here. Sometimes soapy, but overall, the water seems to have a layer of oil on top of it. it it's gross, but it's just not sewer pipe gross. It's only about an inch or two deep, but it's getting to me. Hands and knees are on fire. I'm healing these hundreds of little cuts. I'm dragging my body through these concrete pipes. My grand disguise is of little use now, and I'm certain that I'm no longer scentless. The only thing going for me is the puncher can't fit down here, but it's only a matter of time. See, this pipe is barely heading downwards. I'd have to crawl for a week and a half to make it down to the cavern, and that's if it even makes it there. So... I'm going to have to pop up one of these side pipes soon. And when I do, I'll have to face that robot. I miss Sarah. Not just as a person, but 
in a very practical sense. She was our doer. And I'm struggling to get it done. The archivist gave me a weapon to use against Puncher, but it involves me getting real up close and personal, and I don't think I have it in me. Huh. Velcro pockets. I have three of them. Three balls of some sort of putty that apparently have some sort of powerful magnet housed inside. I'm supposed to peel back the putty and stick the magnet to the robot, and somehow the magnet thing will shut it down. Feels like the sort of plan that when I find out it's malarkey, it's far too late. I mean, he seemed confident they'd help, but then again, so did the guy who sold Jack the beans. I don't know why we used the whole magic beans thing to allude to being swindled. Those beans grew into an impossibly large beanstalk that led to riches. It was the best case scenario. If anything, he undersold them. Huh. It's like soap. Also, soup? Am I that hungry that I'm smelling food in the sewers? I mean... Oh, it really smells like soup. I think one of these side pipes leads to a kitchen, so... I know where I'm going to try to pop up. Sarah always told me to follow my gut. Did Noah kill the guy in the bathroom? I know, we left him alive and snoring, but... Can you just leave someone with a head injury like that? I mean, it's weird. I'm asking because I guess I, I care now. Before, it was just Noah and Sarah against everyone. And that made sense. Then they made a few allies and a few more enemies, but it's always been clear which side you stand. Until now. The guy didn't cry out or say anything aggressive. He was scared. Just scared and running. So was Noah, two terrified guys in a washroom, treating the moment as life and death. Maybe it was. In the first two batches of messages, when they came across someone new, it was safe to assume they were bad. Trying to kill them or test them, but aggressors, villains, bad. But after sifting through some of Sarah's messages, the corporate onboarding, the tour, I mean, they have an HR rep. I don't know what I was picturing, but it wasn't that. Yes. Some of these people are ruthless killers. But the rest are botanists, cooks, engineers, people. These are just normal people who are trying to make a quick buck. Flawed? Likely. You don't pursue something like this without a few cracks of your own, but I don't think they're all bad, or start bad, or even end bad for that matter. Maybe that guy that Noah just tackled was saving up for a cottage. It's really messing with my perception of what's going on down there. It was good. Достаточно убираться. Мы все уже не с пола едим. У меня есть стандарты. В мене есть стандарты. Нет, у женщин есть стандарты, и поэтому ты здесь со мной. Ладно, давай отсюда сваливай до того, как подготовительная группа придет. I think they're gone. Full disclosure, I thought they had already left when I pulled up my phone. I don't know how they didn't. It doesn't matter. Here's my dilemma. This grate seems to be underneath something. I doubt it's a stove, but I really don't know. I don't see any pipes, so I don't think a sink either. Also, I can't get back down. I dislocated my shoulder coming through a bend, and I don't know how I do it again backwards. I mean, I think it's back in my shoulder, but as it's still feeling like it's burning, I'm still on the mend. See if I can't. And now over. There. Okay. Tough to do with one hand, but I can't seem to get enough room to pull my other arm out. Let's see if. All right. Yep. This isn't that bad. I have a full eight to ten inches of clearance. Not enough to climb out, but. Come on. Come on. Right. Now my arms are both above my head. I didn't think about how this would hinder my ability to see above the lip. Damn it, this is humbling. <sighs> right. What did I see? What did I see? Okay. Look like the underside of a table. Maybe a prepping station. I didn't see how far the legs were to the left, but the right side was there. 
Question is, does this station have wheels or just straight legs? Aha! Wheels, yes. Okay, there should be a lock thingy and... Nice. Now for the other front. Nope, can't reach it. Not a problem. One locked wheel shouldn't make it too hard. And the crowd goes wild. Please don't radio. I don't have radio. Hands where I can see them. They're up. They're up. Who are you? I'm... You wouldn't... I I'm Noah. I I'm a captive from the bowels of the facility who has been genetically tested on and who is very much currently on the run for his life. Well, I'm the prep cook. Gene. Gene. I've put you in a tough spot. I, I get that. I need you to take a few steps back from your knives. There for cooking. I don't doubt that. But step back. There. Thank you. Are you going to hurt me, Noah? Oh, God, I hope not. Do you even have a weapon? Uh, yes. Don't have a weapon? No. Then why am I backing up? Because you're a nice guy, Gene. And I'm a stranger, so you don't know what I'm capable of. Well, you don't know what I'm capable of either. Well, I imagine it's kitchen prep. I did two tours in Iraq. Fighting? Cooking. But still. Fair. I, I mean, I don't have any of that. I, I'm just a victim of circumstance. So what do we do? You let me leave? And? And maybe give me some food? You won't hurt me? Fine. You serious? You let me go. And feed you. Why? I was told early on to keep my head down and ignore the truly crazy stuff. And a wet man qualifies as truly crazy. Yeah, I climbed out of the grate there. From the sewers. Yeah, saw the table moving. You're wet. Pretty gross. Yeah. It was. Hey, can we put our hands down? Yeah. Can I grab my knives? Sure. Nothing is pre-made here, so if you're looking for mac and cheese, you'll be asked so well. But the fridge is right there. They have fresh produce. And there should be all sorts of clothes in the laundry bin from today's shift. I bet worn clothes are better than the greasy ones. Thank you. You'd be surprised what I've been living off of. I ate a rat. Really? Yeah. And I liked it. When you're hungry, you're hungry. But, oh, cucumber. How long you been down here, Gene? Gene? Fuck. Damn it, you're an idiot, Noah. I turned my back for one second. Why did I turn my back? How could I possibly trust the new... It doesn't matter. I need to move. I need to move now. I'm sorry. You don't need to do this. I really do. We were all giving a heads up about you, and they'll know I met with you, and I'll be as good as dead. Neither of us need to die. Be that as it may, I'm really only concerned about me. Yeah, seems to be a theme. Move. To where? Towards the front door. I triggered an alarm, so soldiers should be here to pick you up shortly. Now move. I really am sorry. Well, Gene, you'll notice that sorry fixes fuck all. I get that. Did they tell you who I was? Yeah. Old gone rogue. And you believe them? Don't need to. They only care about their story, and in their story, you're the bad guy. We need to act accordingly. Stop. Why? So we can wait. I haven't shot a gun since basic, and I don't want my first shot to be a kill. You follow? How can you be sure that you're safe? I got you. I'm sure I'll be a hero. But they clearly want to silence me. How can they be sure of what I told you? You haven't told me anything. But I can. Don't. I can tell you. I said don't. But will they believe you? Finally, you're here. You didn't tell me anything. Sarah? Surprise. Let's move. I know. Sarah is back. And with amazing timing. I'm losing it too. I have a heap of messages to untangle still, but this feels like a positive turn of events for both of them. Back together again. I'll be back next week with a special episode of Escaping Denver, but in the meantime, you can always reach me at escapingdenverpod at gmail.com or on Reddit at rescapingdenver. 
Thank you to Curious Cast for your continued support, and I'll be back next week with another episode of Escaping Denver.